And we're going to turn now to our podcast of the month series with one of the longest running podcasts in the game. Absolutely no topic is off limits in the Stuff You Should Know podcast. Yeah, more than 1,500 episodes, hosts Josh and Chuck have covered a wide variety of topics, even something like how to survive quicksand. Check this out. Sand can behave as a liquid or uh, as a solid, right. and it forms solid ground when the little grains can you know, rub up against one another and create friction. I know a couple of reasons that can happen is uh, flowing underground water can get mixed up with the sand and spread the particles apart. And the other one is earthquakes. No, thank you. We float on water. Right. We're even lighter than quicksand. Oh, so yeah? if you uh, stop struggling and just kind of lay back, you're going to rise to the top. Stop struggling. No more fear, quicksand. <laughs> okay, they are joining us now. Uh, the Stuff You Should Know podcast host. There they are, Josh Clark, <laughs> Chuck Bryant. Uh, fellas, thank you for being here. Chuck, how do you come up with these topics? I would never think, hey, people would be interested to know how to get out of quicksand. Yeah, that was an old one. Uh, <laughs> honestly, it's just being curious people walking around in the world and, and kind of absorbing everything around you. That's... You know, we did one on palm trees recently, and that's because I literally was in Los Angeles and looked up at the palm tree and thought that'll be a good episode. So it's kind of that easy. <laughs> so, Josh, obviously some of these topics you're covering have been heavily researched by experts. So I'm curious, do you hear back from them? Do they weigh in on your take on things? Yeah, one of the things we've always made sure that everyone understands is like we're not experts, you know, with 1500 different episodes, we just couldn't possibly be. So, you know, we do a lot of research and we have a group of writers that help us um, with the research too. But then when we go out there and talk about stuff, we frequently get things wrong. Um, <laughs> there was one episode in particular, we did one on grass, which sounds boring. And we even titled it, How Grass Works? Yes, How Grass Works. And it turned out to be pretty interesting. But in the, in the episode, we had basically an argument, Chuck and I did, about how to water your lawn a quarter inch. And my position was that you water the lawn until there's a quarter inch of standing water. And then you walk away, you know, dusting off your hands and whistling with the job well done. And Chuck was like, that is not at all right. So we kind of left it in there. And we heard back from experts like really quickly, like that uh, to a person sided with Chuck. So I've, yeah. I've learned how to water my lawn. My lawn's a lot better for it. <laughs> to, to be fair, at the time we recorded that episode, I was living in a condo. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Chuck, congratulations on that win uh, on the grass there. But you all have, you, you've got, well, yes, the podcast, but this has turned into books and even a live tour where you go out. Now, what happens when you get out there? Don't people, your fans, just pepper you with questions and they expect you all to still know the answers to everything you've ever talked about? Yeah, that can be a little rough uh, for a 14 year old show. So, uh, you know, when we see uh, listeners in the audience kind of before and after the show, quite often they will come up and say, hey, remember that one fact that you said nine years ago in this one episode on a Tuesday? Uh, and it's sort of embarrassing because I usually have to just uh, prod them to remind me a little bit. And, uh, you know, there's only so much the human brain can hold. So after 14 years, it's kind of one thing in, one thing out at this point. I say that all the time, so I'm, I'm with you, Chuck. Uh, Josh, this show, as we mentioned, has led from a podcast to a show, to a book, to live tours, to a trivial pursuit game. Tell us about it. Yes, I actually happen to have a copy right here. Ah. Um, we, one of the great honors of my life, and I think I speak for Chuck as well, is being contacted by Hasbro and saying, hey, um, we make Trivial Pursuit, and we want to make a Trivial Pursuit Stuff You Should Know game. And I think they got about half of that out when, before we said, yes, yes, whatever, yes, let's do this. So, um, yeah, we have, we have a game, and it's, it's pretty amazing. Um, it's w actually one of the most amazing things we've done. We've done a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, can you tell us what, uh, Chuck, what, what topic you have coming up we would be interested in? Oh, boy. Uh, well, we just released one today. We have uh, short episodes on Wednesdays and the longer episodes the other two days. Uh, we have one today on why you can't smell your own house. Uh, and it's, it's sort of an odd thing that you don't know how your own house smells, which can be a little disconcerting. Uh, but apparently it takes about a week. So if you've ever been on vacation for longer than a week, you come back home and you smell something funny, that's how your house normally smells. 
Okay. That's amazing. That's a great answer. I wasn't expecting that. That's a good one. Josh and Chuck, thank you so much for joining us. Stuff You Should Know streams new episodes weekly on your favorite podcast platforms. You heard what today's is. Can't wait. And we want to give a shout out to one of our own ABC podcasts called Perspective, where host Sherry Preston takes you beyond the headlines of this week's biggest story. So check that out as well. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.